And good morning, Hillview. It is Thursday, June 4th, 2015. Welcome to the third episode of HVTV. On today's episode, we have things that annoy you, a look back on the preparations of this year's talent show, and a recap of this year's 2015 Hillview Hockey Tournament. So sit back, relax, because HVT starts right now. He shoots, he scores. The 2015 hockey tournament just ended where a bracket full of Hilly boys and girls completed, competed to be crowned the champion. Justin and Luke have the story. This is the 2015 Hillview Hockey Tournament, made possible by this year's ASB. Ten teams, three grades, one winner. Oh yeah, I'm so much. Hey, what's your team? Money boy is gonna win. Pretty excited yeah. for it. I'm just gonna cheer. Very, very dance leaders all and sing. Yeah. So. Be at every game. Yeah. With our pom poms. Our team name is Tropic Thunder. Some teams get beaten early. It's cause, I mean, it's a great tournament, but like, we had to play in the first round. We got knocked out, so. Grant Henry lets in a very savable ball. I feel that hockey is pretty cool. Our squad's are gonna beat everyone in the tournament. AAS. Drop Mike. Max Miles and the Tropic Thunder team are looking to win. I played for Tropic Thunder and we're looking for that W. Okay, we are down to the final two teams, the 8th grade Tropic Thunder team versus the 6th grade American Freedom Society. Outsized and outmatched, the 6th grade team put up a valiant effort. They hung with the 8th grade boys every minute. But ultimately, the Tropic Thunder team was just too much for them. A key moment in the game, Will drives the ball up the side, passes to John, who shoots and scores. Wait, 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 let me see that again. Yeah, yeah. So, also, I thought we did a good job. Uh, I think we played really well, but we should have gotten more offense going and played a little more offensively. I think we played great. Um, so, I suggest this to come out. I mean, we're going against an eighth grade team, and yeah, hopefully, in hopefully next year we'll do better. Uh, I would just like to thank everyone who made it part of this. I would like to thank uh, my best friend, uh, Lauren McDonald, for really helping us win this game. Tito Beta Clutch, Max Miles, Grace of Cody Weed, Will Riley, and Max Colick. I would also like to give a big thank you to myself because uh, I just do that. And Nikki Holmes' mom. Nikki Holmes' mom. mom. Thank you. Also, Tito for being one of the best goalies in this whole tournament. Let's go! Tropic Thunder is the 2015 hockey tournament winner. My number one pet peeve. Ticks you off? Is it people not washing their hands before they eat? When people touch your stuff? People eating with their mouths open? Zach Wilhite and I went around Hillview campus asking students what their pet peeves are. My number one pet peeve is when people like make like comments or remarks like, oh yeah, ball is life, or shift team bro, I'm mixing people up when they don't play basketball at all. When people chew too loud, it's really annoying. <laughs> I hate it when people are annoying. <laughs> you were talking about yourself? Whoa! Um, when like, people make that like chomping noise, that's really gross. <laughs> I hate it when people get too touchy-feely around me. No. 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 Either when people go like this with their nails or when they swallow their like spit and I'm like, oh my god, no. <laughs> 
hate when people talk to me when they have really bad breath. Really? Hi, Jacob. <laughs> when people eat when I'm hungry. <laughs> when they don't like who's at all and they're like, yeah, dude, like, shit team HQ, like, pass me the ball, I'm finna mix, dog. Yeah. I'm not following that up, no. And I absolutely hate when people chew with their mouths open. You need to stop, Peter. When people do this. People grinding their teeth. Hillview America Airlines recently completed its flight at this year's talent show. If you were there, you were treated to dancers, singers, laughs, and so much more. Reporters Nell, Xander, and Nick were backstage catching up on the preparation leading up to the big event. Here's, here they are with the story. For years on end, the talent show has been one of Hillview's most memorable experiences for performers and audience alike. But what goes into planning this magnificent event? One of the pieces that makes Hillview's talent show the best is that it's so much more than just a bunch of people with talent. In fact, each talent show has a theme, and this year's talent show was themed Hillview America Airlines. So let's take a moment to talk to the captain. Every talent show we do, um, hours-wise, I couldn't even measure, but we started over a month and a half ago and uh, pretty much worked on it every day until the show itself. Set up the music tracks for the opening number. But most of the show is student-run. All the crew came after school all week to work on the lighting, sound, curtains, and even the placement of the props. And as the crew's working, the MCs worked hard to write and practice their skits, which they wrote from scratch. These skits entertain the audience while the backstage crew prepares the next act. We started prepping like a month or two before, but but we actually started rehearsing like, like a two week. weeks ago. No, not even a week before the performance. But I mean, it was worth it. Yeah, we beat last year by far. But what do the performers have to do to perfect their acts? I'm Bryn Baker and I sing Almost There in the Talent Show. I practiced every day after school and right after I finished my homework I would start singing and I'd ask my parents, does this sound okay? And if they said yeah, then I'd be really happy and then um, they'd tell me like things I should work on and stuff and I would go and practice that for a long time. My name is Brian Neal. Uh, we are a dance group named Amigo Studios. Since like February, somewhere around there. Um, every Wednesday after school for like an hour or so. The talent show is a student-run tradition with some of the most effort Hillview has ever seen from the MCs, the crew, and the performers. Each year, it outdoes itself, and this year's flight was a soaring success. The best part about the talent show is seeing the audience's reaction. Acts put all this time into uh, performing and getting ready and dress rehearsal and uh, sometimes mistakes and they wait long hours while we solve tech problems but it's all worth it when you see the show come together. So we'll keep doing it as long as students keep coming and two sold out shows again tells us that students want more talent show. I'm already thinking about next year and what next year will bring. Thank you, Nell, Xander, and Nick, for that exclusive look into what makes the talent show such an amazing event. Well, that's it for today's episode of HVTV. Teachers and students, please stay tuned for some special announcements.
Hey, new ASB. Remember to come to the packet lunch. For your welcome ASB lunch. Bring your own lunch. <laughs> See you there. Hi Hawks, Service Club members, please come to see one today at lunch to show appreciation for Roxy and Robin, our parent leaders. There will be cake, thanks. Wait, which Well, that's it for today's broadcast, Hawks. On behalf of everyone on the Hawk Talk News team, make it a great day or not, the choice is always yours.